Your doctor has prescribed Menopur as part of your infertility treatment. This DVD is intended to help you and or your healthcare provider correctly prepare and administer Menopur. To get the maximum benefit from your infertility therapy, it is important for you to administer your medicine correctly, exactly the way your doctor has prescribed. The purpose of this DVD is to help you do just that. It is not intended to replace any instructions you have received or will receive from your doctor, nurse or other healthcare professional. First, we will go through the steps of preparing and injecting the Menopur. Here is what we will need in preparing the Menopur. Please refer to the script your doctor gave you. A sterile syringe, one mixing needle and one injecting needle. Alcohol swabs, gauze and a needle disposal container or a jar with a lid for disposing of used material. One or more vials of Menopur in powder form. The number of vials that you will need depend on the dosage your doctor has prescribed. One ampule of sterile solvent containing sodium chloride for dissolving the Menopur. Only this solvent should be used to dissolve the Menopur. The solvent comes packaged with Menopur for your convenience. We are now ready to begin the process called reconstitution, which must be done immediately before injecting the Menopur. Reconstitution is necessary because Menopur comes in powder form and must be dissolved in the solvent in order to be injected. Remember, only the sterile solvent which comes packaged with Menopur may be used to dissolve the Menopur. A healthcare provider will now demonstrate what you need to do when mixing it yourself. Before you handle any of these materials, be sure to wash your hands thoroughly with antibacterial soap and dry them with a clean towel. For patients requiring a single injection from multiple vials of Menopur, up to three vials can be reconstituted with one milliliter of solvent in order to minimize the injection volume. We need a smooth, clean surface like a countertop. This needs to be wiped off with alcohol and allowed to air dry. To mix the sterile solvent with the Menopur powder, first remove the syringe from the wrapper and put on the mixing needle and set it aside. Hold the ampule with the solvent so that the blue dot is facing you. Ensure that all the solvent is at the bottom end of the ampule and then snap it off by pushing the top end of the ampule away from your body. Draw the sterile solvent into your syringe and inject the solvent into the Menopur powder. Remove the plastic cap from the top of the Menopur and don't touch the tops of the vials once you have opened them. To prepare the Menopur solution, inject one milliliter of solvent into the vial of Menopur. Do not shake, but gently swirl until the solution is clear. If more than one vial of Menopur is required, then the solution should be injected into the second and third vials and mixed together before being drawn up into a sterile syringe for injection. Generally, the Menopur dissolves immediately. If it is not clear or has particles in it, do not use it.
draw the reconstituted menopur into an empty, sterile syringe with your mixing needle and then put on your injecting needle. Hold the syringe pointing upwards, then squeeze the plunger gently until all the air has been expelled and only menopur solution is left in the syringe. Menopur can be injected subcutaneously, meaning injecting under the skin. The recommended sites for injections are either side of the lower abdomen alternating between the left and right sides of the lower abdomen below the navel. Injection of menopur into the thigh is not recommended unless the lower abdomen is not usable. The injection site should be swabbed with alcohol. Clean about one centimeter around the point where the needle will go in and let the alcohol dry before proceeding. The subcutaneous injection should be given at more or less the same time each day. Holding the syringe in one hand, the patient grabs the skin between her thumb and index fingers. She holds the syringe perpendicular to her skin, like a dart, and quickly inserts the needle all the way into the skin. She then depresses the plunger of the syringe with a steady motion until all the fluid is injected beneath the skin. The patient now pulls the syringe straight out and discards the needle in a safe disposable container with a lid. Ask your healthcare provider how to properly dispose of this container. Discard any open vials of solvent or open vials of medication. Never reuse any needles or syringes. If the needle is incorrectly positioned, it will be difficult to draw back on the plunger. Any blood drawn into the syringe means the needle tip has penetrated a vein or artery. If this happens, the needle should be withdrawn, cover the injection site with a swab containing alcohol and apply pressure. The site should stop bleeding in a minute or two. After withdrawing the needle, replace with a sterile needle and administer the injection.